All right, hello everybody, it is I, Grant, all right, and here we are back with another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Emerald with our Gen 3 type challenge of Ghost Type. Uh, we are here in Mauville heading up now to Mount Chimney to take on Team Magma and vacate them from its premises, and then we'll go down and take on Flannery because our team is already at level 29 across the board. So let's see here. Let's swap Shedinja up with Mischievous, if we can. Shedinja is one that we don't want to use in Flannery's gym if we don't have to, if we can help it. So we're going to do as few of the fights as we can now in between here and the gym so our team doesn't get super overpowered. And we're going to do the same thing uh, in between... Um, Flannery's Gym and Norman's. Just do the minimum we need to get the 31. But we have to do three fights here. So we have to do this one. So let's shockwave the Zubat and secret power, or mm, let's n dig the Nummel. Because then we might be able to hit it with a second attack if we need to. This will level up Mischievous to the 29 that it needs. Let's use Thief. Alright, now, as for our other Pokemon, Shuppet is done leveling up. Uh, Shuppet is fully EV trained. So we can use it wherever. So we're going to start off with Shuppet here in this fight. Hidden power fighting. We'll go ahead and use that. We have a Zubat coming out next. Let's use. I don't really want to use Mischievous, but we could. Don't really want to use Dust Skull. Maybe Shedinja is faster and I can just take it down with a uh, secret power. And then a Poochiena. Um, let's just keep Shedinja out. For Nummel, let's go. Let's just keep Shedinja out. <laughs> Excellent. We'll keep Shup it up for the next fight, I think.
right, hidden power fighting. Good damage for the attack drop. We survive the bite, which is good. We'll just go in with another hit of power and fighting and take it down. Zubat's coming out next. Let's swap over to Shedenja and see if it can take it out. Secret power. It can. So that's good for us. Camera up's coming out next. Let's keep Shedinja out for right now. Let's go for a dig. Is not enough. We go down to an ember then. Nothing I can do about that. So she's going to heal it. So we'll confuse Ray it for free. Then we'll go in with some thieves. Nice. See how much an Astonish does. About the same as a thief. We really need the camera up to take itself down, which it is. And she heals it again. Excellent. Wow, three hits in a row. We got pretty lucky with those. Why did you only get... Should have got more if you had the Macho Brace on. No way you're done. Alright, let's give a su super potion to shop it. We'll just let Shedinja be down for a little bit. Alright, we can skip this guy by being on that side. We can skip this person. And I can skip them if I go down here. I don't know if I can skip this person. Oh, they do turn. You, you do speed. Excellent. All right, well, let's swap up Mischievous. And we'll go into Flannery's gym. And take on the trainers in here. I guess we didn't have to take these trainers on. But it gives us good experience and it gives us good EVs. I really want this special attack for uh, Mischievous.
All right. There goes Shedinja. Excellent. Moves itself from danger. They weren't even attacking it anyway. Nice. Mischievous is trying to learn Psybeam. We'll learn that in place of Astonish. We want to get Psychic for Mischievous. Does Duskull... Duskull still doesn't know anything but ghost moves, right? No pursuit. Nummel and a Kecleon. Let's Nightshade the Nummel and Hidden Power fighting the Kecleon. Nice. That's really what we wanted uh, EV wise from this fight on Duskull. Level up Shuppet to a level 30. All right, let's swap up Shedinja, see if we can take out these last few single fights. Uh, let's take this away from you. Nah, let's give it back to you. Shedinja's got some speed now. Can dis disappear, lickety split. And we want to heal before we go take on Flannery anyway. Even though we trained it all the way max up with speed, Shedinja is only our third fastest Pokemon. Mischievous is actually our fastest.
All right, we need to take this thing out quick. Because it does no fire punch. <gasps> and it gets it off. Well, I did not see that coming. That's all right. We're going to go heal before we do this fight. All right, let's get out of here. Let's go the right way. And then, since we're going to have the Macho Brace on Duskull, we're going to give out berries to the other ones. Um, let's start with Mischievous up front. I don't know why I went there. There we go. Oh, actually, I guess I didn't want Mr. Mist to take on this first one. It doesn't matter. Come on with a side beam. Not that bad. We took that pretty well. Uh, we'll let Mischievous also take on the Slugma. She heals it. We just side beam it again. All right, we're gonna send out Shedinja. <laughs> it gets this camel rupt. It'll hopefully just waste an overheat here. And it does. We come in with a dig. It's pretty strong, though. I bet, yeah, it's probably going to survive it. So it hits us with an overheat. We go, oh, it missed. That sucks for you. And that's great for us. Well, Shedinja takes down the camel rupt. Good job, Shedinja. Everybody's level 30 except for Duskull. Who's going to take on this Torkoal? It's got a lot of special defense. Uh, let's start off with the Confuse Ray. We will take an Overheat. Did a lot more damage than I thought it was going to. Just throw a soda pop. I mean, a super potion will get us one away. And he's only got one more max power overheat in him. Excellent. It's all easy. It's all downhill for, uh, from here for that Torkoal because it can't hit us with body slams. And all it's got left after that is uh, low power overheats and sunny day.
and it can't attract us because we're the same gender. It's really going to work out well for uh, Duskull here. Missed. Was that one, two? That was its fourth one. It's got one left. Nightshade should take it out. And it does. Easy clap. And we get overheat. All right. Get our go-go goggles. All right. So we have a couple things that we need, where we're gonna do here next. First off, let's get this nugget. Um, second, we want to go, okay, uh, we're going to spray a repel really quick. I'm going to make my way back to, um, Fall Arbor Town really quick. Something that we don't usually do here. So Cosmos House should be here. Oh, this is the guy that wants those. Is this Cosmos House? It is. Here's your meteorite. And he gives us return. And we're going to teach this the Dust Skull. So it has a move it can use on um, normal Pokemon that does decent damage. Since the next gem is normal type, we're going to hop in here and we're going to sell Overheat and sell Roar. And then we're going to sell a Nugget and a Stardust. And this Energy Powder. Alright, now we're going to head back. We're gonna head. I'll just go back to the go go or the desert. We're gonna head down and do the trick house first. Since that's something we want to keep clearing because it gives us items, and then we'll see what we still need experience wise. the next trick house it's gonna spray another repel
All right, we're gonna let Duskull do these first couple fights because it'll give us more good defensive EVs. Which is what it wants. This will give us special defense and then the hiker will give us defense. So let's just come in with a return. It's gonna hurt. Not as bad as what I thought. That did not do as much as I thought it was going to either. Alright, we've confused it now, so now we'll go in with another Astonish. Or not Astonish, um, Return. Take yourself out, come on. Nice. Very nice. When it comes to defense, Duskull's physical defense is definitely higher than its special. I think last, whenever I totaled it, like, Duskull and Mischievous both needed, like, a hundred to finish out. Which is less now, says we fought things. See, look at that. Six damage from a rock throw. Duskull does not care in the slightest. Swap Shadinja up. Let's grab this really quick. Go take her on with Shadinja. This one so all the red doors are closed all right ooh the hard stone all right spray another repel Let's go get Psychic for Mischievous. It's like 3,500 coins. Yes.
teach this and place the side beam. Easy enough. Let's heal. And then let's go this way. So first things off, let's get Mischievous up front and give it the Macho Brace. Let it take on this Nummel. So the only Pokemon we don't want fighting in the desert is Shedinja because it will go down to the sandstorm just but we have all the trainers south of here on the Jagged Pass that we can also take on so don't forget that uh, let's swap Shedinja back up because we skipped them all on our way to Lava Ridge another person we need to report <laughs> cleaning twitch one bot at a time Skip a turn. Seek a power. Skip a turn. Now we got it. Third time's the charm, as they always say, and we didn't even take down the Metatite. Very nice. Um, let's swap Mischievous up for this next fight with Shuppet. I don't want Shedinja to be in it because I think it'll go down just to the combo of Pokemon that are in here. I don't think that who if we paired it with Duskull, that Duskull would take it down one of the Pokemon before Shedinja would get hit by one of them. That was a convoluted way to say that. Who? Alright, let's shockwave here, and then we will hidden power fighting here. Very nice. All right, 
let's swap up Dust Skull and give it the Macho Brace. And get it to level 31. Looking at EVs here. We got 138 EVs. That's it. Seems like I should have more. But I guess we haven't used it a lot today. Mischievous still needs 50 herself. Um, we're still going to let you take on this ball toy. Just to get a little bit more special defense. Swap up Mischievous. Oops, I wanted to give you an item. Because you start with a Nummel. Oh no, you don't. Start with a Poochiana. Oh, I messed that up. And Shepard took a lot of damage from that bite. Well, looks like Mr. Viss got a little attack EV that I didn't mean for it to get. Nothing I can do to change it. It happened. Then it levels up. All right, let's take on this trainer. We'll just nightshade it, I guess. Shepard should be able to take on a swab blue. Go to Shedinja for the Oddish. Well, we'll definitely have Mischievous and Duskull finish the leveling up by the time we get up to um, Winona. Shroom Mission to Magnemite. We're going to Hidden Power Fighting the Magnemite and Secret Power of the Shroomish.
good deal. And then we'll swap the Shedinja for this final fight. Should be able to get it up here. That sounded bad. There we go. Confuse Ray. That should be nice. We'll go over the Shepet for the Talo. Throw a hidden power fighting at it as well. Excellent. That means it is now time to go to Petalburg. Just skip the Go Go Desert. Get past the travel. All right, we got some pokes to take on. just don't have good berries to give Shepard at this time. Well, let's take out this uh, Swallo. Almost said Swablu. It's gonna hurt a lot. I did 41 damage. We didn't even do half to it. Oh, and it's got a range, too. Oh, it's just fast. It's just fast, everybody. Wrecked by the swallow. Nothing we can do. Alright, well, let's go back this way and heal again. This one's also gonna hurt because this one knows um, faint attack. But we'll critical hit and just take it down. Not a problem. Excellent. All right, um... Some mischievous take on. This uh, Spinda if we can. Oh, 
think we're just slowed down by that macho brace. That's the reason why it went first. Nice. Still confused. Come on, mischievous. Butts. It probably can't hit us with anything else that it knows. There we go. We just needed to snap out. Take this from you and give it to you. We'll get you some more HP, I guess. Confuse it. It's gonna take like no damage. Oh, what? No shadow ball? Why does this thing no shadow ball? On top of that, he's gonna. Oh, we critical hit it. I was gonna say, on top of that, he's gonna heal it. Macho brace, macho brace. <laughs> you see, give macho man to that. I got you now. Macho, macho brace. I've got to wear a macho brace. Macho, macho brace. Don't you want your Pokemon? Your Pokemon's got to be macho. So this thing also knows Shadow Ball. Got a Citrus Berry. Right, but we're, just, we're just waiting this out. He heals it with a Hyper Potion. Oh, it's still confused. Okay. There it goes. Wasn't really worried about it. It's just more annoying. How you doing today, Krishnabon? Doing well, I hope. And we're about to take on our second gem leader this episode. Number one hit, Macho Brace by G. Thanks. Good paralysis. That trainer is cool. He is pretty cool. He is a cool trainer. Doesn't stand a chance against Shedinja, though. All right, let's finish out the strength room. So what's the secret to Shedinja's power? <laughs> that it's dead inside. <laughs> Giving up all will to live. All right. Who else? 
Um, how do I think Norman will be? I mean, the, the hardest thing is going to be a couple of his Pokemon know um, Faint Attack. And that's going to be a pain in the butt to deal with. His slacking is always an issue because of that. And, and Faint Attack is going to be super effective. We'll just have to see. I'm hoping it's not going to be bad. We will definitely lose a Pokemon to um, slacking. But I think we can get through it pretty easy. We're going to start off with Mischievous up front. Um... The Lion Noon is a give me to Shedinja. It can't hurt it. Really, it's just the Vigoroth and the Slacking. I think we can power through the um, Spenda here. It uses Psybeam. We use Psychic. Look at that. Mischievous doesn't even care. And we dropped its special defense. Surprised it's not using Teeter Dance. But we get confused from the Psybeam. Why? This is why we can't have nice things. Is Ruby and Sapphire fight with slacking harder to... I don't know. I've never done it. That's a good question. I have to look at their movesets. No nice things for me. That's right. All right, so this is bigger off, which knows faint attack. We're confused right now on Mischievous. Hidden power fighting. Oh, this is going to deal a lot of damage, isn't it? That's a lot of damage. He's not going to heal it here. I don't really want to throw Duskull in here, but I think I have to. Um, let's confuse it. And then we need to heal. Okay. First one has Encore, Yawn, Facade, Faint Attack. Second one has Focus Punch. I mean... The first one doesn't seem that bad. Facade on it can be, you know, difficult. The second one having Focus Punch could be dangerous. Alright, so Slacking is coming up next. So here's what we're going to do with Slacking. We're going to get off a Curse. Maybe if we survive this, I was hoping we were going to be faster. We don't even survive it. We don't. We don't get a single. Okay. Um, let's send out Shedinja. I need Shedinja to survive. I don't have a lot of healing items <laughs> that's a problem it one hits some of my pokemon All right, so we have it under a curse, and it's confused. Hopefully that'll give us a bit of a chance. We just need to keep Shedinja alive for the Lanoon, because that's just a give me. Okay, I think it goes down. I, it just dies to the curse, doesn't it? And the Psychic? Stupid berry!
Clutch. Clutch. That's some GG's right there, I'll tell you what. Alright. Whoo! That got dangerous. Doesn't matter if he heals it. This thing can't touch us. Slap that belly. That's right. Good critical hit, Shedinja. Lost the ghoulie, that's right. Named her like Julie, but she spelt it ghoulie. Alright, let's uh teach surf. Let's teach facade. Shepet needs a something besides this. All right, let's heal up. All right. Well, that was a fight. Well, oh, I gotta give us a badge, don't I? Boom. Alright, well this is where we're going to end our episode for today. We do hope you all enjoy the episodes, and we will be back tomorrow with more Pokemon. Until then, we will see you next time. Have a good day, Kreshemidon, and have a good day, everybody else who sees this later.